Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2007 British drama film called Halam Fo. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. Our tale begins in Glasgow. A boy named Halam is spying on two lovers in the woods and is making notes in his diary. He puts on some makeup and zip lines down from his treehouse, landing nearby and startles them. The two rush away angrily. Halam returns to his treehouse and locks away his belongings. He has a big picture on the wall of his mother. Halam then goes to a cabin near the lock where he meets with his sister, Lucy, who is packing for university. That night, they're at dinner with their father, Julius, and stepmother, Verity. Halam does not like Verity. She has been asked to help manage Julius's firm. It is revealed that she was asked before, a little while before Halam's mother passed away, but refused. This time, she has agreed. We discover that Halam likes to spy on people that are unaware that he is watching. He watches his father and Verity playing the piano together before going back to his treehouse, where he looks at the picture and says goodnight to his mother. The following day, Lucy leaves in a car. She calls out to her brother to say goodbye, but he's too late and she's gone before he can get there. At lunch, Halam learns that his father and stepmother are making plans for his future. He tells them that he plans to stay right here and smiles smugly. That night, he sees Verity talking to Julius. She thinks that Halam hates her, but Julius assures her that he will deal with the son. Later, Julius tells Halam that Verity has gone away to see a friend. They go for a walk together and discuss Halam's mother's fatal accident. Halam asks if Julius was having fun with Verity before his mother died. Julius informs him that during the autopsy, it was discovered that his mother had substances in her blood that led to her accident. He tells Halam that he really needs to move on. Halam returns to the treehouse to discover that someone has painted graffiti over his mother's picture. He takes his chest back to his room and locks it in his wardrobe. He receives a phone call from Lucy, who suggests that he leave the estate, but he replies that it is exactly what Verity wants, and he goes on to suggest that Verity poisoned his mother. That evening, Verity comes up to the treehouse to talk with Halam, despite his protest. She reveals to him that she has read extracts from his diary. He accuses her of killing his mother, but in a moment of madness, they roll around on the floor together passionately. Afterwards, she gets up calmly and tells him that he should leave or she will reveal to his father what she read in his diary. Halam takes the train to Edinburgh but has no money. He manages to find himself a place to sleep on his first night. As he looks down, he spies a lady named Kate who he thinks looks just like his mother, so he follows her inside a hotel that she works at. Kate is the HR manager, and so he speaks with her and asks for a job. She seems charmed by him and offers him a job as a kitchen porter. She takes him to meet Raymond, who has done this job for years. After work, Halam follows Kate to a bar and watches from the window as she leaves with a man. He continues to follow them to her home before going back to the hotel and sleeping in a store cupboard. Raymond shows Halam the ropes, but he is still preoccupied with watching Kate. While she's at the gym, Halam breaks into Kate's apartment and notices that there's a clear view to the clock tower on top of the hotel. He explores her apartment and looks through her private things. Kate arrives home and Halam has to climb out of the window to escape. From outside, he continues to spy on her until she goes to sleep. At work the next day, Halam takes a break and climbs up to the clock tower where he can see Kate's apartment. On his way down, he is spotted by Alice there, who admonishes him for being there. Kate comes to see Halam, and he asks if his job could become permanent. Halam makes it comfortable in the clock tower and spies on Kate from there. Suddenly, he spots her inside her room with Alice there, and he climbs across the roof to get a closer look. Alice there is married with children, and it appears that they are having an affair. Halam returns to the clock tower and looks at his mother's death certificate. He then goes to the police station and asks to report his mother's murder. He tells the policeman that Verity pretty much confessed the murder to him, but it doesn't seem that the police are going to follow it up. Back at the hotel, Alistair captures Halam in the clock tower and threatens to tell Kate that Halam has been spying on her. Halam reveals that he knows about the affair, but Alistair fires him anyway. 
Halam breaks into a filing cabinet and finds Alistair's address. When Alistair returns home, he finds Halam in his house with his wife and child. Halam returns to work, but is soon summoned to see Kate. She offers him the job of front of the house porter. Halam continues to spy on people from the rooftops. Alistair sees him from the clock tower and deliberately goes to Kate's flat to have fun with her. While there, Alistair makes sure that Halam can see everything that they do. The following day, it is Halam's 18th birthday. Halam's supervisor, Andy, suggests going out for his first legal drink, and Kate says that she will come too. At the bar, Halam asks Kate if Alistair is her boyfriend. She scoffs at the notion and says that she isn't seeing anyone. She asks if Halam is seeing anyone, and he tells her that the woman that he loves is dead. They get drunk together, and she suggests that he comes back to her apartment. Halam feels really uncomfortable, but ultimately, they just sleep together in the same bed. The following day, Kate tells him that last night was a mistake. Halam is later called to room 405 to collect some luggage. He finds Kate inside, who wants to talk to him. They get close and have a romantic liaison together. Halam resumes work and is in a very good mood. He later watches Kate and Alistair chatting, and after work, he follows her home. Alistair is waiting for her, and she tries to break up with him. He is angry and starts to attack Kate. Halam bursts into help, and Alistair reveals that Halam practically lives on the roof and likes to watch. She kicks Alistair out of the apartment and then demands to know how long this has been going on. Halam confesses that he thinks that she looks like his mother, and so he starts following her. She tells him to get out and leave her alone. He is fired. Halam goes back to the clock tower and collects his things. He watches as Kate puts covers across her windows. Halam wanders the city, but that evening sits outside her apartment waiting for her to come home. She asks what he wants, and he asks for his job back. She scoffs, but then he tries to justify his behavior and reminds her that he saved her from a guy twice his size. She decides to invite him inside, and he tells her that after his mother died, he stayed inside his treehouse and just watched people. His stepmother was who he watched the most, as he didn't trust her. Kate asks if he was excited by watching his stepmother, but he says that he never watched people for those reasons. She calls him forward and tells him that she is a human being with feelings and flaws like everyone else. She goes on to tell him that if she looks like his mother, then that is just a coincidence. He asks if there is anything he can do to make it up to her, and she says probably not, but tells him to come back to work tomorrow morning anyway. Before he can leave, she tells him that he can stay if he wants to. He shows Kate his mom's dress and a photograph of her. She asks if the resemblance is the only reason that he is interested in her, but he denies it. He tells Kate that he really misses his mother, and Kate offers to put on her dress. She comes into the room wearing the dress, and Halam starts to cry. Kate comforts him as he weeps on her shoulder, and they spend the night together again. The following morning, he takes her out onto the roof, and they spy on people together before climbing down to the street. They walk to work together, and Halam is in a great mood. Suddenly, Andy informs him that his parents are upstairs waiting to see him. He walks in to find Verity, waiting for him, who tells him that they were contacted by the police. Kate walks in and introduces herself as Julius appears on crutches. Verity ushers Kate out so that Julius can speak with his son. He tells Halam that Verity told him that he made a pass at her and he forgives him. Halam disputes this, but Verity butts in and tells Halam that his father has something to tell him. Julius sits down and tells him that they would like to build on the land around the lock, but consulting Halam is a condition of his mother's will. Halam accuses Verity of killing his mother and tells his father that he's being manipulated. He storms out and Verity follows him and tries to explain what is happening. She accuses him of treating her like a gold digger since day one and asks about Kate. Does it feel like he's having fun with his mommy? Halam is angered and later travels home to Glasgow where he attacks Verity, ties her up, and throws her into the lock, leaving her to drown. After a while, he changes his mind and pulls her out of the water and manages to revive her. He apologizes for his mistake as she stumbles back to the house. Julius arrives and hobbles across to talk to his son. He admits that when Halam's mother went out into the lock, 
He did nothing to stop her. He heard her take medication and chose to let her go, but it was her choice. Halam finally realizes that his own anger stems from his mother abandoning him. He hugs his father and they start to reconcile. Sometime later, Halam returns to Edinburgh and meets with Kate. She won't let him in as she clearly has another man inside. She kisses him and tries to reassure him that everything will be okay. He walks down the stairs and he begins to smile as he walks through the streets looking ahead to a positive future. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.